Hello and welcome back to the tutorial. In this video, I want to talk about outliers in OLS regression. So let's first uh, load again the Tidyverse library and our advertising and sales data set that you're familiar with. And I'm just going to do a simple linear regression of sales on advertising. So we want to explain the uh, amount of sales by the amount of advertising we do. And we of course hope that the more advertising we do, the more we will sell. So if I do this regression using the LM command and specifying the data set at the end, I can look at the summary and see that yes, indeed, uh, an additional euro spent on advertising on average increases sales by 35 and something euros. So let's now consider outliers. Of course, sometimes you're going to have outliers in your data set that, are, that come from the population and it is completely possible. But in this case, uh, let's say we made a mistake and for the first uh, 20 observations of advertising in our accounting system, we didn't actually uh, record the advertising spending, but we uh, recorded zeros for the first 20 days or whatever your uh, period of observation is. So in order to simulate that, I'm just gonna make a copy of this data set uh, with the subscript kind of wrong. And I'm setting the first 20 values of advertising to zero. And now I'm just running the same regression again. And as we can see, and we'll have a look at this just in a second, the estimates are quite different. Uh, a very nice library to kind of get your um, OLS results right next to each other, or also just to report a single OLS result is the Stargazer library, which I'm gonna use here. And I'm just passing the two models that I've saved to those variables, OLS1, OLS2. And I want the output to be in text and the column labels to be correct and biased for the correct model and the biased model due to our uh, misspecification or the wrong recording of advertising spending. So now we see a nice table of our two regressions. And as you can see, the estimate for uh, the advertising spending is significantly less and the constant is a lot higher. This kind of makes intuitive sense since we now have in this uh, bias data set still the same sales data. So at zero uh, for these first 20 observations, we have the sales that are in reality associated with the actual advertising spending in those 20 periods. However, the, our model thinks that here our advertising spending was zero. And uh, therefore the estimate for the constant, which remember is the intercept of the y-axis or the theoretical value we would get on average if we did not spend anything on advertising. So now some of the values where we actually did spend something are associated with no spending, which kind of makes our constant look better or our, our sales without advertisement look better. At the same time, now doing advertising seems to have uh, less of an effect um, on our sales, again, due to those uh, values that uh, have been set to zero 
So kind of we're telling our model, hey, if we, we don't do any advertisement, uh, we still do uh, pretty well. But in reality, of course, we know that uh, we're not doing as well because we did we actually did do advertisement uh, in the first 20 periods. And therefore also uh, our slope or the additional sales due to additional advertising on average uh, look way better. We can also visualize this using ggplot and uh, geom smooth. Notice that here I want to have various data sets or two data sets in this case in the same plot. So I'm not specifying a data set in the original ggplot command, but I'm specifying the data set directly in the geom smooth where again, I set method to uh, LM to visualize the OLS estimates. And in this case, I can just specify color equal to and then the name that uh, should be um, shown in the legend. Um, because we don't have grouping variables since we're using two different data sets. Of course, we could also merge the data sets, make a grouping variable, and then specify the grouping variable here. But this is kind of a quick, quicker way of doing this. And again, I'm setting the legend title to blank. So let's have a look at this. We can now see that the sales um, in the biased model in the beginning look way better since uh, we have um, done the incorrectly specified zero advertising sales. And this higher intercept here corresponds to the higher intercept in our model. However, in the correct model, as you can see, additional advertising is uh, has somewhat of a higher effect, which is shown here as this higher slope of uh, advertisement uh, advertising on sales. So if you have outliers in your data, you have to think about whether those could be due to an incorrect sampling or incorrect recording of your data, and then possibly uh, delete those observations from your data set or try to recover the correct values. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.